starting up his new truck. What do you think? Good, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Worth the money. All the way from Casper, Wyoming. Dude, congratulations again, by the way. Dude, Thank enjoy you. the truck. This thing is, oh man. First impressions, what do you think about it in person? Better than the video, oh, or YouTube, or pictures, <laughs> or it's totally different. Probably the best deal you've gotten on a truck, huh? Yeah, by far. <laughs> Truck. Listen to what he said. You can't beat the price of buying a $20 item and winning a truck. $5,000 cash and a flight included. I mean, it's a pretty good deal. Give it one more rev. <laughs> I'm happy. You look pretty happy, I'm yeah, telling I'm pretty you. pretty stoked. I hardly, <laughs> I hardly ever get happy. <laughs> Right. I'm very seldom ever get happy. Something worth getting happy about, I guess, you know? Yep. Enjoy the truck, man. Thank you. Heck yeah. Look at the water coming out of the bed. <laughs> And a 2003 59 Cummins and five grand that he won for a whopping $20. And you could be next. Place an order at lmpgear.com. And you could be taking home a beautiful flatbed 12 out plus five grand. Okay, we're gonna fast forward just about three days now since Thomas Brow from Casper, Wyoming came and picked up that beautiful third gen plus five grand, which by the way, you could be next, don't forget that. Anyways, been using the nasty. I'm loving the side railings in the back gate, okay? I can already picture myself throwing a big fat buck in the back of that thing any day now. It's like that time of the year, it's gonna happen. Stay tuned. I've already got one down for Ohio, but I still have an Indiana statewide tag. And then we also get to hunt a the Pokagon State Park here coming up soon with firearms. So fingers crossed, pretty excited. We're trying to hunt like crazy this season. Not that we didn't last year. So hopefully you guys are keeping up with the LNP Outdoors Instagram page to see with all that stuff. You know, what all's happening over there with the hunt giveaway and all that stuff, because that is winding down very fast. It's ending at the end of this month. So if you want to get in for that hunt giveaway, it's pretty simple. You can win a hunt with us. We are giving you a new Killer Instinct crossbow, paying for lodging, meals, it's three days, or $2,000 cash. Um, and the hunt would be on our personal property, not like just giving you the gear and stuff and saying, hey, go have fun, hunt somewhere else on public ground and we'll just kind of go along with you so you can hunt with us. It's actually on our own properties that we picked out because they were such good locations and you get to come and share that experience on our own personal ground with us. So anyways, guys, if you want to do that, don't forget lnpoutdoors.com for that as well. But we're actually headed up right now to go pick up the Flat Nasty from Custom Interiors by Thomas and Garrett Indiana, a new headliner reveal here for you guys. We have a brand new headliner in that truck and uh, we're gonna go pick it up and see how it looks. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Everything spools so fast. Can't wait till we have gauges in here so you can actually see. I don't understand why this thing spools so freaking fast but it does i freaking love it look at all the little raptors running away we have so many chickens if anybody wants some free chickens you got lots flat nasty is back we got the flat nasty back from the upholstery shop and i've gotten so many people that have asked who does your upholstery work custom interiors by thomas he does not cut me any kind of a deal to say his business name he just does really good work and i would actually recommend him if you're in the garrett indiana area or not too far i mean he's only i think 30 minutes north of fort wayne indiana let me show you around this thing let me show you the new headliner in this it looks so much better it was so bad so you got the new custom leather interior already getting a little little bit dirty anyways here's the brand spanking new headliner the thing looks so freaking good oem color 
No more saggy, nasty headliner. It's all nice and tight. Brand spanking new. It's not cheap to get a new headliner put in professionally. I mean, it's actually, it's actually pretty expensive. It's well worth it though, because the thing of it is if you're headliner looks terrible and your seats look good and everything else looks good the rest of your interior might as well look bad too because a headliner when you get in it's one of the first things you see it's one of the biggest interior pieces of the truck when you step into it in terms of things that you visually see right away i don't look down as much as i do look right up at the headliner to see if it's saggy stained stuff like that maybe that's just me that's what i always do and so i mean it was it was important to us to make sure that that got done because there's nothing more annoying than either a saggy flapping headliner or one that's so stained up that you don't even know what the original color was. So luckily that's fixed now and we don't have to deal with that anymore. And one of the next most important interior pieces is one of these dudes right here. On a second gen, I'm telling you, your life will be freaking changed. And these things are so easy to install. You open this, you set this dude like that close and guess what you got now freaking cup holders and cell phone holders heck yeah and if you are wanting to get entered to win this truck plus five grand right now every one dollar is one entry to win for every item on the store except for mystery boxes every one dollar is 20 entries for mystery boxes for life if you subscribe to one of those mystery boxes well worth the money you get cool unreleased gear that nobody else has seen yet on the store and and you get 20 times the entries no matter what. What a deal. Now for today, that's all I have on the flatbed, but I believe either later tonight or tomorrow morning, we should have some finishing touches for the interior for you guys. We have a couple of more upgrades we're gonna do on the interior. And now for these new upgrades, it's not only gonna be for looks, but it's mostly gonna be for monitoring performance. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. So stay tuned. I think you guys are gonna like what we do. And oh boy, has Nasty Red been getting dirty at the hunting properties. Oh my goodness, all this rain. It's finally stopped for a couple days now and hopefully it stays away for a while. Literally the buck that I just shot last week, he died in one of what is normally one of our best bedding areas on our Ohio property. And let's just say it was about three foot deep of water you wanted to take a bath, huh? Come on, Malachi. Yes! Look at those brows! Dude! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yes! That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. And he was floating where normally it's incredible bedding and it's bone dry. Like five acres of that property is underwater right now. The rain from last week was just crazy, crazy. So finally, I think it's finally starting to go down, but man, that has just made it a real struggle um, with seeing deer numbers because when all the best bedding is underwater, which isn't just my property, all the properties next to mine are all underwater. And believe it or not, the other 20 some acres, 21 acres of mine that's not underwater is like, the best dry bedding in the area right now because all the bedding that's normally amazing is all underwater right now so complicates things a little bit but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video short and sweet uh got to see the winner get a missed truck hopefully those parts come in so we can work on the flat nasty some more tomorrow because i want to get that thing wrapped up and done we're so close with that and i cannot wait to see the final product because i want to be able to drive it and actually monitor the trans temp, the boost pressure and all that stuff. I want to be able to do all that stuff. I'm excited for that because I really am curious at how fast, I want to see on a gauge how fast that thing spools because it spools so fast, at least it feels like it does in the pedal and it puts you in your seat. So I'm, I'm really curious on what the boost pressure is that it's making like in terms of how fast it's making it. It doesn't feel like it's building crazy boost. I don't think I'm feeling anything near like 40 pounds of pressure. Like when I'm accelerating, like I know what that feels like in this thing, but it gets up to, I wanna say about 30 really quick. Like it's really snappy up to about 30. So I'm really curious. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. We upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I would not want you to miss any of the videos. Stay tuned guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.